Hey everybody, how's it going? This is my wife's E Wheels EW36. Um, this is the older style, and you can tell by the rims. They got like the fan turbine rims on it. And I just put a new inner tube in the front because for some reason they rot off right here at the base of the stem and they start leaking. And you can find a good pair of inner tubes on, uh, I think it's eBay. I paid $15 for two. And if you ever do need one, spend the extra money and get good tubes because I got two of them. And these are nice, nice heavy-duty real rubber. I mean, this feels like a damn car inner tube. So don't buy those cheap ones, two for $8. Don't, don't do it because they both leaked. So I'm having an issue with this. You turn it on, the battery is full charge. Now, this just happened overnight. But when you give it the gas, it goes all the way down the low. Of course, it, it will go down when you take off. I mean, the power will come down a little bit. But this just doesn't have any balls. Um, and the batteries are fairly new I put in here. So I went and bought another charger. So if you're looking for one, you can find these on eBay. But this is a charger that I bought that was on eBay, the first one I bought. And this lights up here, red or green. Here's information on the back if, in case you need it. Um, you can pause it right there if you need to. Let me see if I can light this up a little bit better for you. In case you need any of this information about your charger, this is it. So, and these take this weird computer plug. So that's the, the plugs that they take. So I thought something was going wrong with the charger. So what did I do? I spent more, and I bought another 48-volt 2-amp, or 20-amp hour, wherever the hell it is. I think it's a 20-amp hour. How can it be 20-amp hour? 2.5 amp hour. Okay, so I bought a Wicked Super tur Turbo Charger. And this has got the low, medium, and charge light. Three different colors. And this on the back says... Ding, 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 ding. Something like that, I guess. So, um, what's this one called? Just says Charger on it. Just says Charger. Okay, so... It's a Charger! But yeah, it says 48 volt, 20 amp hour. Okay, so I plugged that in and immediately it turned green. So last time I made a video like this, a lot of people cried because they said I didn't show where the batteries are, all right? Or how they're wired. So let's, let's do that part right now. Well, my dog's whining. I went in a corner because he wants, he sits next to the mouse cage. And he wants a mouse to come out. So you got to grab your key. And over here in the back left corner, you can unlock the seat. So this is where the key goes. I don't know, can you see that on camera? Yeah. So there's, there's that. And then you can take the key back out. Um, it's better if you tilt this seat back. If you can tilt this seat back. I gotta do this all over again now. You tilt the seat back like that, and then it'll lean forward against the steering wheel. A little easier. So now I got the key again. There. There. See what I mean? Now it leans forward. Junior, get out of there. There's no, there's no mouse in that pen. What are you doing? So under here. And this is where I usually say underwear. Under here is your batteries are under this cover. Yes, it's kind of a bitch to get them out. Go ahead now, Junior. You take out these screws. You take out these four screws. One here. One there. One here. And one here. This is the normal four screws you take out. Now, if you notice these rubber bumpers, I put these on here because the seat frame, it, it rattles. So I put in, just with a couple sheetrock screws, 
some rubber bumpers under here to close the gap from the frame bouncing up and down on here so and one side sits different than the other so I had to put a nut under this one to raise it up so once you get that off now you get to play twister with this this is a kind of a pain in the ass pull back on the front let me zoom out more come on where's my zoom me out button let's zoom me in all right you have to lift up in the front like this and then you can turn it around and now you see the batteries do you see the batteries the batteries are down there all right so obviously there's something wrong with mine and I have to go get a freaking Allen wrench now because because this is stupid so just for giggles I can't really get the camera in any better than this I want it to lean over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing that work oh that might work or it might flop back over so you gotta get an allen wrench in here and it happens to be a number five millimeter allen wrench and you undo the the top bar going across it's not no big deal and uh, what i do is there's one bolt there and there's one here Hopefully it's just a corroded wire or something. I don't know. I hope not. I don't I don't know what the hell is going on. But all of a sudden, it was just overnight, it just went... Pfft. Okay. Oh, look at that. It is a corroded wire. So this is just a piece of rubber. Now, what I'm seeing is right here. I got a bad wire. Yeah, I don't know. Can you see that right there? Let me take it out of the holder. And we'll turn on the zoom in closer light. So I got a bad corroded wire in there. So if you're wondering how yours goes, never mind this wire. This is for something else. This this wire is for an add-on remote stop I put on. So looking at the back to the front, it goes negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative, positive, all the way around the block. Um, so, let's see, where is your first negative come from? Here's your charger, charge lines that come in. So there's your charge port right there. That's very simple. They don't even, they don't use the middle one. They just use the ends. So the middle charger doesn't work. Okay, so here's the hot line going out and the green. So, basically, you got your negative here and your positive here. That's basically it. Um, I tape my batteries together, as you see, so I can lift them out as one pack. And all you really have to do is just take off the green wire and the red wire and uh, lift them out as one pack, if you can. You know, either that or just take a picture. Take a picture of what you got and uh, go from there. back out so i mean that's really all there is to it to, to change in batteries you know there's not really much to it except now i want to check this corroded wire and uh it does feel it feels a little wimpy compared to the other one yeah what i did is i had a remote on here i had a remote and i had a little thing hooked to the front brake up here you can see the hole drilled into it so that I can push a button and put the brakes on and squeeze the brakes on for my wife. You know, if she was heading somewhere. You know, I used to ride my electric unicycle and she rode this. And uh, yeah, on one ride, she got going too fast because these do about 18 to 20 miles an hour. I mean, they haul ass for what they are. I'm pretty damn surprised. But. This is the first time I've had so much issues. But, so now I'm just going to cut this off because I don't need that anymore. So, just totally ignore that wire. That has nothing to do with the system at all. That's just power going somewhere else. And I'll just 
get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this terminal off and I'm going to see, I'm going to see if that's going to fix it. All right. So I'll be back in a minute. And if it doesn't fix it, I mean, I just buy new batteries again. It seems like every year or every two years I have to buy new batteries. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is your, your breaker. This is just a breaker. So in case you overheat it or short something out or whatever. And all your speed controller and all that crap. Let me turn the light on. Okay, I got to be zoomed in close. Don't mind my hand in the way. All your speed regulator and all that shit is in here. Well, it's kind of in here. I don't know if you can see it. There's your speed regulator in there. But then your horn, your alarm speaker, and a bunch of shitload of wires back there. But, yep, there's your, uh, that's basically all your other crap. It's all hidden back in here. So it'd be a little bit more involved to take all the covers off to get at that. All right, let me clean this terminal up and I'll be back. Okay, I just fixed that, and here's what's happening. It's reading the batteries full. Now, I've got my foot in front holding this tire, and I'm going to twist the throttle full blast. Right down to nothing, and it releases. So, and I think I found the issue. Because um, I used to leave the charger on all the time, and I just saw something I don't like the looks of. Look at the batteries. They're like melted together in the middle. See the space? No space. No space, then there's a space. Um, the batteries are shot. Yep, they must be overcharged. So, so now, what I wanted to see the batteries pulled out, now's your chance. So, back the camera out a little bit. All right. So, if you want to take the battery out, you get yourself an 8 millimeter and unhook the positive. And I'm going to have to order new batteries. Now, I'm going to leave all these batteries hooked together, hopefully because the battery's expanded. This thing's a pain in the ass. It's always in your way. Plug that and get that out of your way. Because the wrench always keeps catching on it. So we'll undo the positive, which is the one that goes to the disconnect switch in the little trunk box. Now the trunk box will fall away, which is fine. And I always put my nuts back on the bolts. This way you never get to lose them, you know, because you're likely to hit it somewhere. So, okay, so there, that's out of the way. And then you take off the green negative on the other end. Wicked simple. Now... If somebody asks me, how do you put this bed together? You know, I'm going to say, come on, really? How do you put this bed together after you take the batteries out? The same way you took them out. You put them back in. This is nothing. All right. So, out comes, oh, my little washer dropped down in between the batteries. My little washer dropped down right there. All right. Okay, so I can't get the batteries out. So, this is how I usually take them out. They're taped together. I put a finger in each loop here and right here. And you can wiggle them out like that. All right. So now my batteries are out. So here is my whole battery pack. And I always tape them together. I tape them together because you just saw the reason why. And I can see the batteries are very swelled up. No, Junior, you can't have any of this. Say hello to Junior the Chihuahua. I know you want that, don't you? You want it. You can't have it. It's not for you. So, yeah, look at this. These batteries are all bubbled over. Yeah, this is junk. Well, they're junk, so... Um... Let's see if I can uh, prime apart. Yeah, so there's a little hole there it just sits into. There's really nothing to it. I mean, I'll get a screwdriver. I know they're almost glued together, 
so I figured I'd just do this quick video for people that wonder about these scooters but I mean this one freaking pulls wheelies um, the throttle is like really touching I've replaced the throttle you just twist it a little bit it'll yank a wheelie up on you well, let me get my washer out of there first okay there's my washer we'll put that here that's not for you all right let's see wow oh boy they got hot okay so they didn't want to come apart okay so they basically heated up and glued themselves together oh shit yeah so they got cooked they were cooked Get your nose out of there. So, I'm trying to figure out what the hell brand batteries these are. Come on, break apart, bitch. Wow. Come on. Look at the red. Look at the red. Something's got to break loose here. I need a bigger screwdriver. Damn. Should we try this one? Get away from them batteries. Oh, there we go. All right. Holy shit. Mighty. Yeah, they're the freaking Mighty Max. Piece of shit one. Yeah, so these are uh, Mighty Max. The writing is all melted together. Alright. Mighty garbage. Oh, come on, break oh, shit. Yeah, these bits is it. Oops. Is that nice? Oh boy. They got melted. Wow. Look at that. They're toast. Wow, they got melted together so hard, they melted right into each other. Okay, so what I would suggest, once your green light comes on in your charger, shut it off. Unplug your charger. Once it goes green, unplug it. Well, that's it for me. I can't go any further. I got to order new freaking batteries now. Son of a bitch. All right. And it stinks in here now from this freaking battery is melted. So it must be those goddamn chargers don't have a, uh, you know, regulator to them or something. But you see how it goes. Positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. And then positive and negative on the end going in. So, Shit. So what you do basically is put all your batteries back together. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but in case you forget, take a picture. Just take a picture just like this, and you can see the red and blacks together. And then that way, you'll be good. All right, everybody. Well, at least I showed you what overcharging your batteries do. So I would uh, be very careful with these chargers. To make sure once your batteries come up to green, unhook them or unplug the charger. Because I would just leave it charged in all the time. I didn't give a shit. I was like, oh, well, if the batteries go low, they'll just charge themselves up. But, yeah, don't do that. I love these things. So there you go. So if you've got one of these, um, doesn't matter which one it is. If you're having battery issues or you step on the gas and... It just trickles along like at one mile an hour. Now you know what it is. And uh, I kind of, I was hoping it wasn't the batteries. I really was. Get my hand wipe out here. I was hoping it wasn't the batteries. But as you can see now, it is. Shit. More money, more money, more money. So there goes another $140 or $150 for batteries. Um, yeah, these are supposed to be good ones. The Mighty Maxes, I guess. I guess not. Hey, right, Junior, you stay away from the batteries. 
So, all right, everybody. There you go. There's how you remove the batteries, troubleshoot your problems, and see what happens when you overcharge them, and uh, how to wire them. So, that's it. That's all I can do for now. And when I get my... Oh, my hands are clean. I can start touching other stuff. Now, when I get my other batteries in, what I'll do is I'll put them in line right behind these. One, two, three, four. And I'll just take these off and move it back. And this off, move it back. And this off, and move it back. But... Hey. What are you doing? All right. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys later. Don't overcharge your batteries because... That's just what you're going to get. Take care. Have a good one.